Once upon a time, life was simple. If you wanted to watch a movie, you went downtown to the local movie theater. The Presidential, the Rialto, the Itch. You stopped at the concession stand and bought popcorn. Maybe you grabbed some candy. And on special occasions, you bought bonbons. You sat in a dark theater with strangers. Sometimes you went to the drive-in which was the best of times and the worst of times. Or you stayed home and watched television. You had lots of choices, seven of them as a matter of fact. You watched your favorite shows at the same time all your friends watched. And the next morning, you chatted with your friends about what you saw. The big innovation was color. Bonanza! But the fun always ended. Exactly at 12, when all the channels stopped broadcasting. Perhaps you remember these, and if you do, you know what this is about. The biggest innovation was the remote, God's gift to every male on earth. And if you had an Uncle Phil, you remember how painful those home movies were. Oh, those bright lights. Do you remember when TVs were wireless and telephones were wired? And now we're in the age of screens. The New York Times recently devoted a whole Sunday magazine issue to the new age of video. Everywhere we look, we see screens. You can watch clips from a movie as you pump gas into your car. You can see movies on the back seat of a plane. You watch anywhere on large LCD screens at home. In cars. On personal DVD players and game systems. On tiny cell phones. On iPods, the ever-present screens have created an audience for very short moving pictures, sometimes as brief as a few seconds, while cheap digital capture and creation tools have empowered a new generation of filmmakers who are rapidly filling up on those screens. Speaking of capturing movies, if you have a phone in your pocket, you most likely have the ability to capture movies. You can use your digital camera to take videos. You can record videos on inexpensive webcams. Of course, some people actually use a video camera. Now there's even real cool USB flip cams. Cameras are everywhere. If you went to 7-Eleven today, or Walmart, you may have been on camera. The average person is on camera 20 times a day. Cameras let us see what we're doing at the bank, on the expressway, and at the zoo. If you have a cell phone and a computer, you can be a filmmaker, producer, exhibitor. You can be a filmmaker, producer, exhibitor. Are you ready to? Zamzar! Hulu! YouTube! You are a person of the screen. Broadcast yourself. Let's YouTube!